Hello everyone, welcome to another soul portrait session. In this session, I decided to do something for Thanksgiving, something with the colors of fall. So I found a basket, I call it antique, a basket of obviously fake uh, flowers with fake fruits and whatnot. I found it, it's a deco item that I found in Valley Village. I says, as soon as I saw it, I thought, okay, this is going to be good for a shoot. So I bought it and I decided to do a shoot with it. I'm using one flash. I'm really getting into this one flash experiment of mine. I really like the idea. Instead of having like three light setup or whatever, or two light setup, just one flash. I started off with 164. I put the reflector there, which I generally use. These are the camera settings I started off with. In case you're interested in that, I forgot my shutter speed, but it should be 1 125 because that's really what I tend to use. I go higher when I'm working with clients, but since it's me, I can keep still and take my picture. This is the flower I was talking about, or the decor I was talking about. It's a cute little basket with different funny fake fruits and dry flowers and whatnot. Anyway. I used 50mm lens, my M50 is the camera as usual, uh, my light is supported with a boom arm. I began taking like test shots to see what would work. I like to work with as low ISO as possible but when it's not possible I crank up my ISO, usually at events that's what that happens. Anyway this was the result I was getting initially, I was not, I did not like the results I was getting. I think colors were they appeared too intense for me and i understand that people really love canon for you know the colors and whatnot but sometimes i just need a little bit of adjustment so i found a way to adjust my settings to give it a more let's say muted look so i did those settings if you're interested i can you know get uh, find the link or the whatever to the reel or short that I saw. Anyway, I'll see about changing my lens at this point. I moved my light closer. It's still off to the side, but maybe like 35 degrees away from being directly in front of me. So I think 45 is what you call like the Rembrandt lighting, but I would say mine was around 35 degrees. I started shooting again. I'm using my Canon Connect app if you're wondering, and I really shot. I shoot wide open. For the most part when i'm doing these self sessions sometimes i go higher but usually two to four is where i stay with my aperture i started testing again and i like the colors i was getting now at this point i felt like i needed more light on my hair but i think i later found out that that was not necessary sometimes i'm shooting and i'm getting distracted by random little things that perhaps will not matter in the end but these details sometimes matter so it's good to pay attention to them to them sometimes i was checking my nails to see if they were long enough or short enough or something started posing this time i took it with my phone so pictures you're going to see next you're not going to be seeing the phone in the shot and these are the settings which i think i like the result i was getting at this point like i said i love my iso being low let it be light and let it be low iso because the picture will be as sharp as possible without like a lot of noise and i like to shoot wide open too so it's like mm. <laughs> different things some people say oh don't shoot that wide but i don't know maybe that's why i find it hard to do like fashion photography they like to shoot on really high they like the f-stops to be really high and for me <laughs> i don't really like it anyway this is what i was getting and i love the green colors were coming out so if i go into my editing app to adjust the colors i would be okay with adjusting or it'd be easier for me to adjust my colors the way i want them to look but this picture straight out of camera were looking great to me that's also leads to actually get into editing i did try to edit one which you probably see at the end of this video this is the result of me just playing with myself, giving myself a break before I get onto other things during the shoot. 
you're going to see one edit at the end of the video i liked it it was giving hmm i don't know what it was giving anyway i switched my lens to 24 to 70 just so i could use you know get like different focal lengths and whatnot and get some space in you know the picture so i started posing again and these are the results i was getting this one appeared a little dark and so i think i what did i do here i think i increased my light a little bit but i mean it's not too dark for me i like dark pictures my clients don't really always like them <laughs> i have some clients that love them this was another favorite of mine i think this is like one of my favorite pictures this one okay but that first one i showed i said before that's that the one before this one my favorite i went on to change my wig and this is the wig i decided to use i don't know what came over me or why i thought that this wig was a good idea anyway i changed my lighting style to the butterfly lighting this one is just directly in front of the subject but just from the top so that it also adds some light to the hair and you know makes like other, th other things so there should be a reflector at the bottom but i don't have one or i have one but i can't hold it and i don't have a stand for it so i have to put that aside and just hold my phone and take the shots this is the result i got and i really like i like this one i like the shots i was getting with this you know butterfly lighting style i don't i'm not always a fan of it but i did not mind since i've gotten a few diff decent shots i was like okay good let me do some thanksgiving kind of <laughs> kind of sh kind of shots so i grabbed my basket and you know i was taking pictures with the basket holding the basket and whatnot i liked this one i look like some farm girl picking stuff and whatnot <laughs> maybe i should try shooting this flower outside this there's one other one that's this yeah this was my favorite pose this particular one and i think this is the picture that i edited at the end which you'll see at the end this is the original picture if you see the edits you let me know what you think <laughs> anyway this is uh these are the pictures that i took i started taking pictures i took the baskets off at some point and i just did like will you call them headshots something like headshots and i was just experimenting with them getting different angles of my face adjust the focal length as needed i also did this one i like to take uh, i like to take pictures like this to act like it's some top down kind of shoots even though that's not the case um i can't really put my camera in the sky to do such in real time so i try to do this funny posing to look like it this is what the kids call art these days isn't it blurry pictures <laughs> anyway that's it for me for this video i have a part two of this video coming out soon hopefully you like that one as well if you like this one please put a comment like button whatnot subscribe and everything else i hope to see you guys in another video soon so then i hope that you enjoy the rest of your time on youtube bye for now there you go